Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are redoing the legacy lot. I decided a couple episodes ago that I wanted to do the re do the redo. Yeah, yeah, do the redo. <laughs> do the redo pretty soon. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to film, so I thought let's just freaking let's just do the redo now. I kid you not, this build took me a total of 7 hours, <laughs> which is insane. I can tell because when I do my recordings and I place them into my editing software, I can see the duration of the recordings and it was like almost 8 hours long. I couldn't even believe it. And with editing out all of the indecisiveness and speeding it up. I was able to bring it down to like 20 minutes, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> that just proves how indecisive I am, fl flipping through a million swatches, just trying to find the perfect item. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm super excited. We all decided as a community that we wanted to do like a modern farmhouse for Sarah, who is our gen seven for my legacy challenge. She's really into riding horses. We're gonna get some animals and all of that fun stuff. I really like how the lot turned out. It's not my favorite build ever, but I do like it, I hope you guys like it too. I also said I wanted to like redo the entire lot, like move stuff around, but I was looking at it and the, <laughs> you guys know how much of a pain it is to move crops, right? If you have a garden, it's just super annoying. We have a greenhouse and a garden and I felt like that needed to stay there. So there wasn't really much I could do uh, for the layout, but I did clean it up. We have a new house. Everything has a new paint job. I added some things. You guys will see it in a minute, but thank you so much for being here. Let's get into it. All right, so <sighs> yeah, the house, as you guys can see, I kept it in the middle of the lot. I kind of feel like that's a good, it's a good move. Everything is just surrounding the house and I ended up keeping that pond as well. Oh, I actually, um. I redid the graveyard. I don't think I recorded that, but I will, uh... wait, I did record it. How come I don't remember editing it? <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys that. We're gonna take a tour after we watch the speed build and um, I'll go into like more detail about the build as well when I show you at the end. Um, but yeah, we're doing a modern farmhouse. Uh, I feel like, <sighs> I don't know. I feel like it's the most done style of architecture in The Sims. Everyone builds modern farmhouses because they're honestly, they're really fun. And there's a lot of items in the game that uh, tailor to modern farmhouses. So um, yeah, it was kind of, it was natural building it. And I used a lot of horse ranch stuff because uh, that's like the perfect pack for this kind of thing. And then um, there is a CC pack called Woodland Ranch, I believe it is. Um, yeah, I think it's by, it's either Harry, Pierre Sim, or Felix Andre. I'm so sorry, I can't freaking remember right now. I'll remember when I see the, the little logo on the, on the, the build stuff, but uh, I'll link the CC pack for you in the description if you want to download it. It was honestly perfection for the style that I wanted. I remember like finding the counters, I think it was. Yeah, it was the counters that I ended up using. And then I like searched Woodland in the search bar in the build menu. And all of the stuff from that pack, uh, the CC pack was showing up and I was like, oh my God, like this aesthetic is perfect for this. So I just grabbed everything out of the build catalog and pl placed it because I knew I was going to use it later. But yeah, uh, we used the couches from that pack, the counters, we used the dining table, dining chairs, bed, literally everything. Um, so yeah, just a, just a heads up for that. But as you can see, I'm using a lot of horse ranch stuff. Uh, the wallpaper on the bottom is eco lifestyle, I think. I end up doing this like style of paint job on all of the buildings on the lot, so everything looks really cohesive, you know? So, yeah, it looks like, um... Oh my god, is that Pierre Sim? Or Harry? Wow, I thought I would knew when I saw the logo, but now I, I can't even, I can't even remember. <laughs> Like I said, I'll link it for you in the description. Um, but yeah, the house ended up being three bedroom, three bathroom, surprisingly. 
Um, when I built it, every time I build a house, like the exterior, I never ever think about the floor plan. Like very rarely, very, very rarely. Um, and then, so once I build the exterior, I go inside and I demolish all the walls that were there from building. And then I create my own floor plan on the inside, of course. And a lot of the times I'm just like, dang it, I don't have enough room for like anything. <laughs> but I'm already so satisfied with the exterior that I don't wanna change anything. But um, yeah, this ended up working out fine. Um, yeah, there's a kitchen, dining room, living room, bathroom downstairs, and then upstairs there's two bedrooms with attached baths and then one bedroom with a balcony. The master has a balcony as well. So yeah, that's what we're working with. And just like, look at all of this stuff from this pack. It is just, it's so cute. It's giving like cute country vibes, like soft country pastels. Um, just, just really cutesy. It was exactly the style that I wanted for Sarah because <laughs> that is her 100%. So yeah, everything in this kitchen is from that pack. Um, the appliances, the counters, I believe the sink, most of the decor. It's just a super, super cute pack. If you haven't downloaded it and you use CC, I highly recommend. Um, the only bad thing is it doesn't come with an island. So I had to use an island from a different CC creator. I don't know who though. <laughs> that looks like Peacemaker maybe. Oof. Anyway, um, so yeah, that rug is also from the pack as well. It's just like, it was just perfect. I couldn't get over it. But yeah, um, just cluttering the kitchen here. Um, I also downloaded this, I think it's called like Party, P Pantry Party, I think is what it's called. And <laughs> it's honestly so cute. It's just a bunch of pantry clutter, which I needed. I end up using the cereal boxes all over the kitchen as well, just to make it look a little more lived in. Super cute um, CC pack though as well. I'll link that one for you guys too. <laughs> um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope that uh, your week is going well. What's today? I don't even, Wednesday? Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. <laughs> uh, I'm doing all right. I have just, <sighs> I did, I was doing so well um, before we moved, like with my diet and exercising and staying disciplined and staying consistent. And then the move came and all of that just went down the freaking toilet, y'all. Like I fell off so hard. Uh, <laughs> so I am like back to where I started when I was having a really hard time a couple months ago just feeling like super fatigued and sluggish all the time and just like depressed and anxious and it's really really hard to like snap out of it i did it once i know i can do it again but just like doing it it's just that first step it's always the hardest but yeah i'll get to it eventually no 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 i'm gonna do it now 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 no tomorrow right now <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the dining chairs and table that came with the pack. I ended up using these high school years curtains. I've never used these in my life before, but I thought that they complemented the house really well. Um, I always start my builds with this wallpaper and then I end up like going back and adding accent walls and changing it later on once I have all the furniture there. Um, but yeah, the dining table is right when you walk in, you have this little tiny little entryway nook. And then here's the living room. So these couches, oh my God, I love these couches so much. They're so nicely designed. So using those and then that fireplace also came with it. Those are the coffee tables that came with the CC pack and that rug, I don't know who that rug's by, I'm sorry. But I do have a Tumblr post where I have all my favorite CC creators linked. Whenever I see C shop, I will just refer to that post and like, uh, well, I have a list, like a bookmarked list of all of the, all of the links that are on that post. And I just click every single one and I see what's new and I download what I can. So uh, it'll be on that list if you're interested, 100%. I'll have it linked in the description for you, of course. But yeah, um, so the living room, the living room is lowered, like it's down a couple of steps, which I have been really like doing lately. 
it just adds like a little bit of interest to the house we have a cute little cabinet little open cabinet here just gonna clutter that up um that tv is also cc it's a frame tv looks like a painting when it's off it's pretty cool oh yeah there's this um other cc pack called the uh, stefan's room that i downloaded i used some stuff from that as well uh <sighs> yeah man i'm getting out of breath whenever i talk over speed builds i can't stop talking you know what i mean <laughs> because the speed build's still running <laughs> um but yeah i end up uh, moving that wardrobe upstairs and then i just make like a little seating area by the dining table there's a lot of little seating areas in this house just like comfy cozy places where you can sit your butt and do nothing <laughs> but they look really cute so yeah uh what else what else um i did mention that i redid the graveyard outside there was a lot of sims that have died on this lot and we have all of the tombstones tombstones for them all of the past heirs are in there um and if they had a spouse they are also in there here's another little comfy cozy place to sit <laughs> and do nothing read whatever i don't know take a nap <laughs> um but yeah all of sarah's like hobbies and things are outside so i was like struggling to figure out what i wanted to put inside of a house so when i struggle to figure out how to fill a space i just put a seating area i put comfy chairs i put somewhere to sit and that is my go-to <laughs> um but yeah i redid the graveyard um it was definitely overdue for a little a little pick me up so that looks a lot better i'll show you guys um, but yeah, this is the master bedroom that we're working on. It's going to be Sarah's room. This is the bed that came with the woodland CC pack. It's really cute. I like the canopy. It's very, uh, it's very unique for sure. Um, that rug is from the pack as well. Uh, shoot. I want to say I use like 80% CC, which I usually do for my legacy builds. Just because I want like free reign on uh, what I can use. So, oh, those lamps aren't CC. <laughs> anyway so yeah master bedroom that one has a pretty decent sized balcony a decent sized bathroom oh creative cloud has an update okay thank you <laughs> um but yeah I'm, i end up being able to fit this big wardrobe in there i also can fit a comfy seating area <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow. I, I want to count how many chairs or places to sit there are in this house. I think maybe that would be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that's a cute little vanity there. I don't know if that's CC actually. Is it? Is it Horse Ranch? I don't know, dude. But yeah, I really like how this room turned out. I love the color palette. It's just like really muted blues and orange it's just so satisfying <laughs> um but this room this is going to be edison's room i know it's like a little depressing i'm not gonna lie the downgrade i don't know if it's a downgrade because he barely spends any time in his room but it's definitely a lot smaller than what he used to have and i feel bad because he's technically still the heir but it's like, he's not married, he's a single guy. He doesn't really need much, just a computer. We give him a really nice one later on in the video. But yeah, I mean, it's just kind of sad to, to admit that he's on his way out, but it's just the reality of things. It's like, this is Sarah's house now, you know? <laughs> um, oh yeah, this is the third bedroom with the balcony. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. I was originally going to make it an office, but I was like, holy crap, this is like a huge office. If I just have like a computer in here, what else am I going to put? So I ended up putting this couch and then I was like, well, now I don't want to put the computer in here. <laughs> so this ends up being like a chill, um, another place to sit, of course, but like a chill skill building room. I put um, a guitar, a piano, the fish in here and then I put like um, a little bar situation as well we know that Sarah is a sober queen but um, Edison is not Ren is not 
<laughs> and uh, I don't know, like Sarah, she can just like host up here and I guess like have a glass of wine every every now and then. But yeah, overall, she she does not partake in any substances any longer. I'm very proud of her for that. <laughs> There I go again talking about my sims like they're my actual children. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is the little bar area. These cabinets are by Tuds, I believe, um, but they make like a really nice bar cart area situation. They function as a bar, which is great. Um, so yeah, just cluttering it up. Plants, of course, of course, of course, of course. That desk, that purple desk is uh, from the new Love Struck pack. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I end up changing the color, but like, it's a nice desk. It's a good size. It's, uh, it's very nicely designed. So yeah, I end up keeping the computer there in the hallway, by the way, with a little like landing area. Um, and then we have these dividers. It looks like those are from the Stefan's room CC pack. I thought that would be a cool way to like block off the stairs, like something different other than just putting walls or a fence. I was originally going to put a fence, but then I found those dividers and I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Let's use those for the stairs. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And it kind of like, it kind of sections off the office quote unquote area. So yeah, big fan of that. Um, what else did I do? Oh, so I ended up adding a chicken coop, which I'll show you guys. I didn't film any of the outside stuff because it was already like, like super freaking long, the video. I think I actually did film it, but I ended up cutting it out. I, I honestly don't remember, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I did cut it out now that <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Um, oh yeah, here's the nice computer that we're giving Edison because he spends 90% of the time on his computer. And uh, I'll make sure to assign the computer to him and lock it for everyone else just so he stays out. Everyone stays out of his room kind of thing. Um, maybe we can eventually give him the guest house because that's empty at the moment. I cleared it out. The only thing that's in there right now is the cloning machine for the potions. Um, but yeah, maybe if he does meet someone, we can eventually like move them into the guest house. Um, oh, these are random awards that I found in our household inventory. One of them's for comedy, one of them's for music, and one of them's a Starlight Ask Ascalade. Oh no. <laughs> Ask Ascalade, no, I can't say it, Accolade. So I ended up displaying those on the fireplace. <laughs> oh geez. Um, yeah, and here's our little outside eating area. You got to have a grill, you got to have an, a table outside. Got to have plants, got to have trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really, uh, satisfied with the, with the aesthetic of this home. It just feels very, uh, warm and inviting and, uh, I definitely like it better than the last house. That's for sure. But we have a bunch of seating areas outside, as you can see. <laughs> Comfy, cozy place to sit. Uh, we got one there and we got one on the upper balcony right there. So yeah, plenty of places to just relax. Um, there are a couple like areas of the lot that are kind of bare and empty. So I kind of wanted to like leave it that way. Like that over there with the pergola, I'm pointing as if you can see, but with the pergola right there, that is like empty space that I can use for whatever. So if you guys have any um, suggestions about anything else that I should add to this lot, I am so open to hearing them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I ended up putting the tree house over by the legacy, um, the legacy house because like the house where we keep all of our collections and memorabilia and stuff. Uh, I ended up putting it over there just because I didn't want to delete it. I don't know why <laughs> Sarah still goes in there all the time. I, I don't want to take that away from her. And I feel like it's a, it's special cause she built that with her dad. Uh, yeah, here's some fountains that I'm adding to just fill in that space. And then, honestly, I think that's all that I have for this speed build. So, uh, I'm going to jump into the game real time and give you guys a, a tour. Let's go. I feel like Alicent in this wig. <laughs> is it just me or is this like totally her hair? 
<laughs> Not me also wearing green. Oh my god. Oh shoot. I forgot it's gonna be all snowy. <sighs> it's not gonna have the same effect. Not at all. I should have given you guys the tour in build mode, but I wanted you to, you know, see the house in action. Mmm. Bummer, dude. Oh well. <laughs> it still looks beautiful. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I ended up fencing off the pond, added a bunch more plants. We have two, count them, two animal sheds. Uh, I don't know what we should get. You guys should let me know if we should just get cows or a cow and a llama. Um, I also got a chicken coop right here, also fenced off just for safety. Um, that's pretty much the same. It's just empty on the inside. And then with the graveyard, I reorganized the gravestones. <laughs> that sounds so crazy to say uh, out loud. <laughs> Uh, it's just the Sims though, you know, so these are all of the um, heirs and family members and uh, Their spouses I put little flowers on each gravestone um, Oh wow, that looks so pretty covered in snow And then these gravestones over here are just random people that have died on our lot <sighs> It's a lot more than I remember but yeah that that's them <laughs> And then, what else did I do? Let's see. Um, I reorganized the orchard a little bit. Um, the greenhouse looks a little different with the paint and the roof. That garden over there is basically the same. But yeah, let's just hit play and have a look at... Oh, the fountains look cute. I like those. Uh, let's have a look inside. All right, so we got some steps coming up. Up here, we've just got the little outside area. It's all snowed on, but yeah. Uh, we got a grill. We got some veggies over here waiting to be grilled up. <laughs> we've got this other seating area here with a bonfire pit. I love the wine barrel uh, end table. Love that so much. But yeah, here we are. The new house, it's just so warm and inviting in here, is it not? I'm absolutely obsessed. Living room, lots of places to sit, nice fireplace. Um, this is the downstairs bath, sorry Sarah. Um, there's a bath in here. I like this uh, mirror situation we've got going on. Um kitchen nice and cluttered i feel like we need a painting right there but otherwise looks pretty good oh we, hey we also need a instant pot in here um because of sarah's tamarani <laughs> cooking oh no i need to change those pictures edison evangeline and i believe that's stella <laughs> From a couple gens ago but yeah up the stairs we've got sounds like someone's already on the computer we've got this really cute b wallpaper um here's the hall i knew it was gonna be you i knew it uh the little office nook right here let's go in the first bedroom which is the master so this is sarah's abode um she's got a nice wardrobe a little record player a seating area bed flowers vanity this is her master bath nothing too crazy and then she's got a nice balcony out here with a bonfire pit and two little loungers and then into edison's room cha 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 very small very cutesy very demure um, but I like it. It looks like a little boy's room, TBH, but he's still a little boy in my eyes. Here's his bedroom, or bathroom, excuse me. Um, okay, and then the last bedroom is the skill building room. Oh, are you having yourself a drink? He's using the bar. 
Uh, I actually love this room. I think it might be my favorite. It's just, it looks like such a fun place to hang out. There's our bone fish. Hi! And then this balcony doesn't have anything on it because it's really small, but yeah. Uh, it looks a lot cleaner, that's for sure. It was a hot mess. All the plants and the terrain paint and the paths. Everything was just like sp <laughs> randomly sprayed and placed everywhere, especially the plants. Holy crap, there are so many plants on this lot, which is probably why my game is um, quite laggy sometimes because there's just a lot of stuff on this lot, a lot of items and in the basement too. Um, but yeah, nothing's changed in here. Uh, nothing's changed here. Oh my God, please help me. Who's calling? What, what? No tech guru. <laughs> but yeah, there's legacy house. There's the tree house. And then we have this empty area right here. I just threw a pergola. I should have put a comfy, cozy seating area there too. What am I doing? But yeah, we have a little bit of space for something else if you guys want. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Leave me comments about what kind of animals we should get. If we should go all out, if we should keep it modest, keep it polite. Keep it cutesy. <laughs> I am sorry. So yeah, that is the new legacy lot. I hope that you guys enjoy. I will see you very, very soon with a new regular legacy episode. I love you so much. As always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.